So today we're gonna visit Bing and its image creator. It's similar to a lot of AI image generators that are coming out in the market. The easiest way to find it is to just go over and type this in. So Bing AI image generator, and it's gonna be the first result. So create images from words with AI. You know, that mid journey was first, then we've got like Leonardo and Dali and a lot of these things, but this one as well runs in the back end using the Dali model. As you can see here, what is image creator is a product to help users generate AI images with Dali 3. So just like using Bing chat on Microsoft's browser implies that you're using GPT-4, well, if you use Microsoft's image creator, that means you're using Dolly in the back end. So Dolly. Now, before you start generating, you should know that this service is free, but there's like two versions of this one. I'll show you all of that, but of course you gotta have Microsoft's account. Yeah, it sucks, but you have to take this one. It is not hard though. It will take away your time. So here it is. First of all, I've told you that this service was for free, but there's two versions. One of them is fast generation, which is done using this boost feature here. And you get 10 boosts every day to use. In case of a new account, you will get 15 boosts. So you get these every day. And after 15 images, the image generation might be a lot slower. So today I'm gonna spend all of these. So just to compare what is the speed before and after. So make sure to stick until the end of this video. So what do they have down there? This is to explore ideas and you can see some of the recent creations that some other people did. It looks really good. And of course you get a prompt that was being used in order to make this. So you can just have a look get some inspiration, certain ideas, and if you still don't know if you are in the block or something, there is this option. I like this one, it's surprise me. And if I click on it, I just get a prompt here. I just get sur like something to surprise me, but it doesn't generate the image. I like that, you just get the prompt. So if you don't like this one, you can just click on surprise me and you get another prompt. So this could get you out of your block, whatever, but it will not spend these boosts. So you can just go and get yourself some ideas if you're like, I don't know, stuck or something. And here you can see that the prompt structure is really simple. It uses natural language using a specific like graphic style at the end. I'm gonna try out different styles in this video, so let's just go with it. Down there, as you can see, how do I create better prompts? And as with all of these, it works best when you add more details. The more detailed you are, well, the bot is gonna have an easier time and you're just gonna get close to what you want. So let's actually go with this one that they have suggested. I'm just gonna click on create. And in real time, we're gonna see how long does it take to create one of these. So until now, it is fairly slow because I remember when I was using Leonardo and Mid Journey, it is way faster than this, but it cut down on that time. So it's not bad. So this is our first creation. Soccer ball as a planet in space, blah, blah, blah. It looks okay. Actually, I like this one. So it's not bad, but I don't see any upscaling option. It is 1024 by 1024 though. If I click on the customize button, you're gonna be light inside of this. And then you're gonna be redirected to this Microsoft designer where you can actually go and edit this in multiple ways. This works just like canva.com, for example. You can just go with the brightness, you can just set up all of these little things and you can add filters, which is fairly good. You know, for example, I like this one right away. You can play with the intensity, of course. And as I've told you, this works the same way as Canva does. So for example, if you happen to make yourself an account on Fiverr and you make yourself a gig with these Dali artists, if a customer wants a simple edit of something that you already made, you can use that Microsoft designer. So this is a really cool feature. Leonardo and Mid Journey, they don't have that. You would have to go over to Photoshop or something like that. But with this, you can do it right there. And since we've just touched on this, well, you can actually get a lot of money with this on Fiverr because as you can see, people are charging crazy amounts of money for this. Have a look at this, $25 for one creation. 
All right, so that's a lot considering how much time you need in order to create one of these. And you can see that these sell. For example, this person has already 60 sales and this is the people that left a review. And of course, not everyone is gonna leave a review. So this is the first way in which you can get money with this. But let's just go back to see what can we do here in this Bing image generator. So first of all, I'll just go and I'll take this picture open image in a new tab I just want to see when I upscale it so yeah the quality is actually really good yeah I, I can't see pixels and dots I mean maybe here but it's a good size yeah it's good size and actually the quality is something that I really like let's try another one I'll go with something like female alchemist in the forest and I'll just go with photo realistic painting I'll try different styles during this, but let's just go with create now. So here it is. First of all, I always wanna look at the eyes because AI tends to mess up the eyes. This one is okay, yeah, even though she's Asian. I mean, not that I have anything against, but I didn't specify that I wanted, I don't know, the race or something like that, but I like the quality of this one. Yeah, the eyes are good and the hands are good. That's really important because as I've told you, except for the eyes, AI can mess up the hands. So this photo realistic, this is a really, really good one. The eyes here are not so good. As you can see, it's not so perfect. Yeah, the eye here and even here, it's not so good. But overall, it's a pretty good generator. Let us go with pop art style. And I also want to try when we spend these boosts. So this is actually pretty good as well. This one I like, yeah, pop art style works very well. It's not bad. I even got this like one which is black and white. So is that cannabis here? I don't know. But yeah, I do love that you get 1024 by 1024, each one of these pictures. And of course, if you wanna share these, if you wanna save this to your collection, you can see you've got your saved images, you can create yourself a new collection and you can just add those images in there. So you can just revisit them later. But I don't see the upscale version. So for me, that is bad. I mean, you could also always go to Vectorizer. This is the one that I use in order to, this one actually, Vectorizer.ai. This one upscales my pictures really well because I can convert PNG and JPG images to SVG. And then you can go inside and as you can see from the example here, SVG is way better if you want to upscale anything. So that's Vectorizer, but not this first one IO, this one AI. But I would really like that I could do this in Bing Image Creator. So let's just try one more. So let's go with graphic design. Maybe some of you want to do like print on demand. Maybe some of your customers want to do that. Want to get like print on, printed on a t-shirt or whatever. Maybe you want to work with patterns. So I just want to check graphic design. So here it is, graphic design. Well, it's not much of a graphic design. This is more like photorealistic painting to me, but this one is very good. I don't know about you, but this one is hell of a good. Yeah, even the bird here and the forest behind, it's, this one is just good. But I've got graphic design here. All right, yeah, this one is good in terms of the style. Yeah, really good, even though this is in the air. But I guess you could work with this more. Also, this one is not bad. This is more cartoonish or something like that. Yeah. So I like this one. Bink is such a good thing. And of course, it just depends on what do you want to do with it? What your customers want to do? What are you just going to work with this on Upwork? What are you just going to sell it on Fiverr or just use it for print on demand? It can prove to be really useful thing. So wish you good luck. Happy playing and I'll catch you next time.